I must say, I still love my wife. Long granddad's been coming to this barbershop, Lewis. My name is Patrick. I come to this country around 1963. I came from Trinidad. I'm in this business here for over 40, 45 years. I was a barber from Trinidad. I follow my uncle and I learn from him and I just become a barber. And when I come to this country, I just went to take a qualify to get some pieces of paper on my, on my wall, and I did. I did a hairdressing school. There was a lovely school there, Bogan School of Hairdressing. 30 students in the basement. I travel all over the place. And then I find this place and I decide to open up a place here. I start off with myself, and then I get another barber, and then I get another barber, and then I take a give them a rest, and I bring in my son. He just, from school, he come here and play around the chairs, and he seems to like it, and he decides to stay with me. He's fine. I was just starting to do after Polytechnic University. I was always in the shop, watch my dad learn how to do it, and then just carry on from there. It's a good business to be in. To meet lots of people, they become your friends, they've become there a long time. So it's like a little community, so it's very nice. The customers, you know, they're very simple and nice. So many nice faces, nice people. I like them. We love each other. They have grew up, they have children, and the children can come in here. As the customer come in, they always want to give me something to put on the wall, so I accept it and I just keep on doing it. They bring their money, but especially from Jamaica people, the money, we enjoy it. It's very nice. It's about over 30 something countries, more than 30. There is always people always coming and ask me, can I take it? Can I take the wall? <laughs> they keep laughing at me, you know. No, he's a very good man. You have to ask the customers. They'll give you a better ride here. He's very quiet, but when he says something, he's usually worth listening to. Pat has always been here and I've always trusted in Pat to take care of my appearance. Oh, he's a good man. And, yeah, I've been coming here for the past 25 years. Since I was about 15, 16. My mum took me here, but um, before that, my uncles used to come here. Uncle Patrick is an uncle, a father, a guidance to me. It's a good place to get here. Patrick's when I used to just get when my mum would give me money to get me hair cut. And now as you can see my two grandsons are also coming. I uh, say so his prices are affordable as well. Where some barbers charge £15, etc. etc. <laughs> his prices are very affordable. So yeah. Come to Patrick's. <laughs> and obviously Patrick's, you know, he's been here for a long time and he's just uh, he was one of them barbers that He's just kept the area alive, isn't he? He's just part of the community, isn't he? There is a, a trademark of mine, which comes on the left-hand side of my head, which Uncle Patrick has been putting there for me for many, many years, before Mike Tyson, you know? Because when I saw Mike Tyson, had the same kind of trademark on the side of his head. I know, oh, wow, uh, yeah, I, I, I stand that. Huh? There was no difficult about my business. 
It's so cool. It's just quiet and nice.